Okay, welcome. We're live on lakestv.net. It's the Sofa Show. We've got a gentleman now called Lindsay. He's going to come and join us live on the Sofa Show. Come and join. I'm going to warm it up for you, Lindsay, because you've got shorts on and it is February. But it's not cold. All the best. Nice to meet you, by the way. Hi, Lindsay. Where are you from? I'm from Braithwaite. Braithwaite, so we're talking local. Yeah. And that's why you're wearing shorts. There's no one else wearing shorts today. Lovely legs, fantastic. I don't know if the camera's coming. There is a little bit of pimples there. There's a little bit of pimples. But that's good. Uh, loving, loving what you're doing. We're asking, we're actually here in Keswick. It's part of the film festival. Right. And it's a simple question. What is your favourite film of all time? Not on the festival. Of all time. Hmm. Uh, I've probably got, I've actually got two which would probably make. Can I just have a chat with my producer and see if he, he actually allowed to okay. talk with it? Hi, we've got Lindsay here. He's a yeah, gentleman wearing shorts, Braithwaite. He's wanting to do two films, is that possible? Please. He said it is an option, go for it. Okay, right. The one was missing with Jack Lemmon and Sissy Spacek in it. Dealt with a gentleman, a, a reporter who went missing in South America during, right. the, uh, uh, during the times when the CIA were involved in that. Right. Fantastic film. It's one film where everybody, when they walked out, there was total and utter silence. Oh, perfect, yeah. Uh, yeah. Which was a brilliant film. The other one... That, can I just say, that happened to me when I watched U2 in 3D. <laughs> but I'll tell you why, it was in Basingstoke. I was a bit sad, I was working down there for a week, I thought I'll try it. You had to wear the glasses. Watch U2, and it was only me there, and I thought, well, I was a little bit irritated. There was lots of shots of Adam Clayton, the bass player, doing this to the camera, <laughs> but no reason at all. So, but I mean, that was a different kind of silence. I know what you're saying about that. Yeah, and what's the, what's the second film? The other one is the Jeremy Irons film, which dealt with the, um, the South American Indians. Oh, um, uh, not the mission. Yes, the mission. Got that live, fantastic, lovely music and as well. Superb music by the Italian composer, and it's just a yeah. cop smacking film completely. It is. Completely. It is. Now I've noticed. Is that is that a local accent? Uh, no, it's South African. Yeah, and uh, first of all, sorry about the cricket. All right, because we kind of the cricket we kind of drew and you know. No, we didn't actually. We beat you, didn't we? We, you got you. I managed, say we. You managed, you managed, you yeah, managed so. to stagger a win. Yeah, yeah, it was lucky. I know. Uh, but also as well, looking forward to the World Cup. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, which team would you be supporting? In the World Cup. Yeah. Uh, I don't really know. No, it's, good, it's not a real sport, is it? Football. Well, not really. What's your favourite sport? Uh, tennis. Tennis. It's not a real sport. Only joking. That's only joking. Sport. It is, and it's and it's full of people wearing lovely shorts like you've got today. Lindsay, thank you ever so much right. for joining us on the Sofa Show. It's been pleasure. a delight. Thank you very much. Take okay. care. Bye. Thank you. Now, Anya, uh, we, there was a choice between yourself and your lovely boyfriend, who's yeah. currently eating. I say boyfriend, is it your boyfriend or yes, your cousin? Yeah, yeah. That's a shame. It's not your boyfriend. Only well, joking. Not like that, I'm not hitting really, on you. Oh, no, no. Hey, seriously, honestly. <laughs> you know, uh, two million people live in Cumbria. Only two surnames. You work it out. Yeah. Gene and Poole. Sorry, I'm from Manchester. No, no sorry, I'm from Cumbria. <laughs> oh, I can, yeah. you know. Uh, so yeah, no, he's said the S word, haven't you? <laughs> we'll edit that out. <laughs> Notice guy. Uh, Alice, what's your favourite film of all time? Or are you more sort of CBeebies? <laughs> CBeebies? If we've, I... just, we've got a new film actually in our house, yep. haven't we? And you've been watching it this morning. Can you remember what it's called? What's it called? Oh, Ice Age, Ice Age 3. 3, which I don't know if it is actually at Keswick Film Festival, but super. If I said the words Mr. Tumble, oh. <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah, lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got the injection of youth here, live on the sofa show. We've got Aaron, who's from Keswick, and uh, he's from a wonderful establishment called the Golden Lion, which is just around about five metres away from where we're filming. His parents run it, or own it, I'm not quite sure. We're going to find out about that. Aaron, come and join us live on the sofa show. It's emotional. He's at that difficult age where people are around the camera, behind the camera, there's about 500 people watching this, a little bit nerve-wracking. Aaron, what is your favourite film? Uh, I'd probably say Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump, it's a classic. Yeah. Give me your favourite line out of Forrest Gump and do the funny voice. Uh, Go on, I bet you used to do this years ago at school. Probably that one where it goes, I may be stupid, but I'm, I know what love is. Yeah, you know when the, the bit when I say, can you do the voice? Yeah. Can you do the voice? <laughs> go on, go on. Really uh, go for it. OK. I may be stupid, but I know what love is. Yeah. You know Forrest Gump the film? Yeah. You know the voices on that? It's yeah. like a South Axe. American South accent. If you can do that accent, that'd be brilliant. But this one, if you can really shout it out, so ready, here we go. Because what we'll do is we'll cut that bit out, we'll edit it, and we'll just put that bit on. Uh -huh. So what's your, what's, what's your favourite part of Forrest Gump? What's your favourite? You go for it. 
Uh, the bit where he goes. I may be stupid, but I know what love is. <laughs> so what is love then, Aaron? What is love? It's where you care about someone really much and you do anything for her. Oh, what, like buy them a house, give them three kids and, you know, get a mortgage that really technically you can't still afford and you're thinking of different ways of downsizing. Is that love? Uh, is it love? Well, just where you'd care for her and you'd never hurt her and you'd look after her no matter what. What, you mean as in not, not hurt her like that, but as in protect her? Yeah. Not as in like they do on EastEnders, like, oh, I'm going to hurt her. Whoa, do that. Do that for me. Whoa. Oh. That's it, do that. Hey, come here. Whoa. I told you I want chips from my, from my chip pan. Do that, do that. I told you I want chips from my chip pan. All the best. Aaron, wonderful there. Uh, it's a bit like a string, scream test, that, wasn't it? For yeah. Do you like Robert De Niro? Not really. Just you like a, a sort of a young sort of lead singer out of hi-fi, hi-fi, fi, not hi-fi, hard-fi. You know hard-fi. Yeah. You, you look a bit like him, don't you? Mm. Yeah, but slightly more cross-eyed. Only joking. You know, Aaron. Big respect. Thank you very much. All, right. All the best and good Sorry. luck with, yeah, you know, your rest of your life and, right. and keep looking after those girls yeah. and none of that. Right. That says I'm going to court, right. doesn't it? Yeah. That says I love you. Right. That says you go to court. All right, cheers, Aaron. All, right. all the best, mate. Take your bottle of water. Gin, all the best. Away with you. Kids. Great, it's come to this. I'm interviewing a dog.